Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, last night I was telling that uh, Islam has got a reformatory role in, fast, in the act of fasting. There are many things which are unnatural among different nations. Islam has reformed them. I told that among Hindus only the Brahmins fast. The normal Hindu do not fast. Normal Hindus do not fast. Among the Greeks, only the women used to fast. The men did not fast. Islam is made incumbent on everyone to fast. Then I told that Islam made it a lunar calendar, which is more natural. Calendar hung on the sky, everyone can see it. And this lunar calendar gives each and every weather to each and every country and each and every nation. They are told that Islam has given a very natural approach. Those who are sick, those who are ill, those who are on journey, they are allowed to postpone their fasts. And Islam is also allowed that those people who are advanced in age and those who are chronic, chronically ill, they are not expected to recover, they can feed one poor person instead of fasting daily. Then I told that uh, among the Jainis, there is very lengthy fasts for weeks together. Among the Jews, there is a fast of 24 hours completely. But Islam has given us a fast of half day, but 12 hours, 15 hours. And we are told to have sehri in the morning because it's a useful diet. And in the beginning, and in most of the nations, during the whole of the months, the people were not allowed to get near near to their wives during the month of Ramadan. In Islam also in the beginning, it was not allowed that one should go at night to his wife. It was allowed. And that is the natural approach. Because it's an unnatural hardship on a young man that he should abstain from his wife for full one month. Now, during fasting, one cannot go to his wife, but at night he can. Then, again, very natural approach. Among other nations, if somebody takes something forgetfully, his fast is broken. But Islam says, no. If you have taken something forgetfully, you have eaten, have you have drunk something, have you have done something which breaks the fast, but you have not done it intentionally, you have done it forgetfully, it will not break your fast. Again, something very important. If something happens which is beyond one's own control, that will not break the fast. If somebody vomits without in intention, if somebody has got night discharge in this, it's not his control. While asleep during fasting, he's got nitro. That will not break his fast because that is something beyond his control. He's not done, his, done it intentionally. In the same way, vomiting. And in, so, in the same way, somebody compels something, puts something forcefully in his mouth to his beyond his control. He is fasting, he is sincere to God, but two or three persons get hold of him and forcefully put food in his mouth.